Hey, welcome back. I'm Cory, and we're about to get started on day seven of Advent of Code in Rust. If you missed the previous days, check out the playlist up top for all my solutions, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started on day seven. Day seven, no space left on device. You can hear birds chirping and raindrops hitting leaves as the expedition proceeds. Occasionally, you can even hear much louder sounds in the distance. How big do the animals get out here anyway? The device the elves gave you has problems with more than just its communication system. You try to run a system update. System update dash dash please dash dash pretty please with sugar on top. Error no space left on device. Perhaps you can delete some files to make space for the update. You browse around the file system to assess the situation and save the resulting terminal output, your puzzle input, for example. Okay. So we just like browse around some directories. And I bet we're going to have to keep track of our CDs. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. The file system consists of a tree of files, plain data, and directories, which can contain other directories or files. The outermost directory is called slash. You can navigate around the file system, moving into or out of directories and listing the contents of the directory you're currently in. Within the terminal output, lines that begin with this are commands you executed, very much like some modern computers. CD means change directory. This was changes which directory is the current directory, but the specific result depends on the argument. CDX moves in one level. It looks in the current directory for the directory named X and makes it the current directory. CD dot dot moves out one level. It, found, it finds the directory that contains the current directory and makes that directory the current directory. CD slash switches the current directory to the outermost directory slash. LS means list. It prints out all the files and directories immediately contained by the current directory. 123 ABC means that the current directory contains a file named ABC with size 123. dir XYZ means that the current directory contains a directory called XYZ. Oof, okay. Given the commands, given the commands and output in the example below, you can determine that the file system looks visually like this. There's the root, and then there's the A directory, which has an E directory and an I file, and there's an F. Yeah, so keep going down. Files sometimes have extensions, they don't always have extensions. Um, yep, or four directories, yada yada yada. Since the disk is full, your first step should probably be to find directories that are good candidates for deletion. To do this, you need to determine the total size of each directory. The total size of a directory is the sum of the size of the files it contains, directly or indirectly. Directories themselves do not count as having any intrinsic size. The total size of the directories can be found as follows. The total size of directory E is this because it has the size I, the single file I inside. A has everything added together. The outermost directory contains every file. Its size is this. To begin, find all the directories with a total size of at most a million, nope, 100,000. Then calculate the sum of their total sizes. In the example above, these directories are A and E. The sum of their total sizes is this. So we would add this directory and this directory. Um, as in this example, this process can count files more than once. Find all the directories with a total size of at most 100,000. What is the sum of the total sizes of these directories? Okay, so this is really just going to be a parsing and storing things issue, it feels like. But that's okay. We can totally do that. I'm just not exactly sure. I think... I think we want to use some actual path things, like a path buffer, I think, in Rust, potentially. And then a hash map to get to either a, a thing, a file, or a directory. Um, I think that sounds reasonable enough. It's not going to be like super performant in that I'll just have to scan my whole file system to find things in a directory, but I think it'll be fine. Um, okay, so this is going to be my input, so let's copy this, and let's get started by making a, a new cargo crate. Um, okay, so we're here in the right spot, cargo new, 07, and this is actually has a long title. Um, no space left on device, no space left on device, that's also the name, no space left on device um, and it's a lib uh, let's cd into it and add it to our cargo.toml for our workspace no space left on device 
Okay. Okay, so we have our... And we're just going to delete this, I think, to start. And let's get started sketching out how we're going to store this, I think. Uh, I think the first thing I want is an enum, and we can have a um, file-like thing, and it can be either a directory or it can be a file. Um, directories, uh, or maybe this is a file-like, no, I want it to be a file-like. Directories have paths, uh, which I think is going to be like a path. Buffer? Let's try it as a path buffer. Um, and then files have a path, um, which is, will be a path buff again, and it'll be a size, which will just make a use size, I think. Um, okay, so we have a file like. It can be either a directory or a file. Um, and then I think eventually we're going to want our file, uh, like maybe we want, let's make a struct for our file system. File system. Um, it has one deal, one thing, and it's files. It's going to be a hash map of path to a file like. And let's do some uh, doc reading for a moment. Rust path buff. Do I want paths or path buffs? What is the difference? Um, an owned mutable path. Um, it also implements dereth path, meaning that all methods on path slices are also available on path buff. Okay. So if I own it, I think I want the path buff and a slice of a path akin to a string. Okay, yeah, so I want a capital path buff here as well. Um, this is a file like... Okay, now it's happy. Now it knows what that is. Um, it's just mad that we're not using this at all. Okay, um, so I think we're going to do an impl. We're going to impl on our file system. Um, and we're going to do a function parse input, and I guess now we might as well, oh, I never even saved the, um, example file. So let's do that once I finish typing this out. Let's make our new file for example input, and there goes this whole thing. This is what we're going to parse in a minute. Um, let's add a test function. Um, I don't know, example input part one, we'll just do the whole thing. I'm not sure what else I'm going to want to test right now. Example input part one, let input equals include string of example dot input, let the answer equal part one of input assert equal that answer is what is our answer um that number okay and then we can do function part one is an input to a u size um and let's do file system equal equals file system parse the input um, and then let's try to debug out the file system I like that um, that file system is gonna yell at me that it can't be debugged but we can fix that we go up to file system we can derive debug um, I think we will have to drive debug on our file like as well, but that's not too bad. Okay, so now we can at least run things, but we're not actually going to get very far because all we do in parsing our file system is blow up. Uh, so let's do let file let mutable files equal hash map uh, new get a new hash, and then at the end we will do self of files. Okay, so now we can at least compile this. It's not going to do anything yet, but it will compile. And then we should be able to do part one and get the debug output of empty. Let's see. There we go. File system has an empty files, and then we panicked on not yet implemented. Okay. 
Awesome. So we have our empty hash map, and our input's going to look something like this. So, um, and then we're also going to need something for let current directory equal path buff uh new uh from uh let's see can i make this a path buff uh how can i construct a path buff i wonder uh can i just do like this dot into that would be pretty cool cool um okay so we got our path buff um and i guess the other thing I'm going to want is like some way to tell these apart. Um, so I guess, let's see, what do I want to do? Am I just going to walk through this line by line? I think I'm just going to walk through this line by line and do something if it starts with a dollar sign and something else if it doesn't. So for line in input dot lines um if line dot starts with a starts with a dollar sign um we'll do this else we'll do that um if it starts with a dollar sign uh we will see if the things after it are cd or ls um, okay. We really kind of want, like, a full parser here, but I don't really want to do that, so we're probably not going to. Line dot, um, remove prefix or something. Uh, prefix, strip prefix. There we go. What prefix do we want to strip? We want to strip the dollar sign space prefix. Oops, not dollar sign zero. Dollar sign space. Um, okay, so then... Let command equal that. Command and let's unwrap it because we uh, know it does. I guess I should have done if let some command line dot strip prefix. Now I can use command inside without that. I like if lets, they're nice. Okay, so now I have command. It's a string or a reference to a string. That's fine. Um, if let some cd uh, location equals line dot strip prefix. We're doing the same thing we did before. Um, so like we really could have done probably something with a better parsing, I think. Uh, like there's some crates we could have done to do some like really cool parsing, but we're not gonna use those. We're just gonna do this kind of manually. Um, but now we have our, so we know it was a CD, and we have our CD location. So if CD location equals um that slash that slash. There we go. Um, if it it says equals, right? Like, that's what my, my thing says. Um, CD this switches to the current directory. It doesn't say, and this is all about one level. We don't, okay. I don't think I need to deal with going multiple levels at a time. So if it equals that, current directory equals uh, the, that dot into. Awesome. Oh, this needs to be mutable. That's why I can't change it. There we go. Okay, so if cd location equals that else a uh, current directory equals current directory dot uh how do i add something to it do i like push yeah i can push awesome um push cd location dot into Ooh, why don't you want it into um Instead, oh, push. Got it. Push just mutates the thing. Um, push. What are, what, why won't you compile? 
Oh, problems. That's what I want, actually. Okay. Uh, type annotations needed. Got it. Uh, what if I just do that, then? Do you take all of them? Yeah, you're actually generic over everything. Okay, so I can push anything that... Where A can be as reft to a path. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so if we CD'd and we didn't get to the root directory, we push to get in. That's not quite right yet. Um, else if... Else if CD location equals dot dot um current directory dot pop yeah because if we do cd and okay so then that's gonna pop us back out okay oh this though that's why i didn't like that command wasn't used so i knew something was wrong there um this is so much nesting we could maybe change this later but that's okay okay so if we don't get the prefix cd um command dot well actually wait is it just ls that's my other command awesome um else if command equals ls um we don't need to do anything here but we know we can read until the next command. Yeah, so we're just no offing if we see an ls because uh, we just don't care. We, it's Something's going to happen, but we don't need to do any changing directories. Awesome. Okay, so that's all we need for commands. And so now the only other thing we need to implement is this, where we will get directories and files. Um... And I don't even really know if I need to care about directories too, too much. Let's care about directories. Let's save them because I think they they could be useful. Okay. Um, so we are going to split on a space. Uh, so where do, what do we have? We have a line. Okay. Um, let mutable split equal line dot split on a space split on the space and let the file size order equals split dot next dot unwrap and let uh file about how about like path equals split dot next dot unwrap Let new file path equal a current directory dot clone. We'll make you mutable so that we can do new file path dot push uh, the path. Um, and now we do we can like match on file size or dir um if it's just dir i think it's literally just dir right yep uh let file like uh so this would be a direct uh, file like directory where path is new file path Um, and then anything else, we get the size, which we do file like file, new file path. Uh, we can just call parse.unwrap here, I think, that knows that we're going to be parsing to, oh, uh, what are we parsing though? Size.parse. Um, that's all. There we go. Okay. Um, that gives us a file like, and then we're going to go files.push new file path file like. Uh, files is mutable. Okay, so why can't I push? Nope. Method found in the current scope. Uh, files. Is it insert? Insert.
new file path. What did I want here? Oh, okay. Um, um, I just need to, I guess we'll clone it here because I do want two of these. So I wanted to have one and I want to put one in the hash map. Okay. So now we're going through, we are doing everything. Um, so that actually is parsing. I think we've got parsing done. Um, this is obviously going to panic on that yet implemented still, but we have our things. They each know about them. Okay, cool. I really don't know if I need path inside of it. I have it as the key here and inside. I really don't think I need that. Um, but we have it for now. Let's keep it. Um, it's this clone. I could remove the clone if I got rid of it. And then durs would be empty and files would just have a size. Let's do that. I don't know. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Okay. Um. So now I think all I want to do is let, like, we're just going to like not make this super efficient, but it's going to be fine. File system dot files dot keys dot filter. Oh, actually, I don't want keys. I want values dot filter. Um, where, uh, file matches, file, uh, file like dir. Dot, 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 dot. There we go. Um, matches, there closes that, dot collect, uh, to vec. Okay, so then I have all my directories, um, and then I think, I guess, I want to implement a, ooh, okay, so I actually file like, these things don't know about the file system, which kind of makes sense, reference E, but it does mean that I can't implement, that's fine, I can just pass it in, I think, I think that'll be fine, um, impl, no, where do I want to put this? Uh, do I want it to be on file system? I guess so. Um, so I want a function called total size. And it takes in a file like, uh, or it takes in a directory. And I guess the directory really should just be a path buff here. It shouldn't be a file like, because then it could, then I could pass in a file, which doesn't really make sense. Wait, does it make sense? Yeah, it could make sense to pass in a file like I'm not sure let's find out if it makes sense um then it's going to return a u size um okay so then let's match on file like um if file like is a file then maybe we can just get size out and return it and then if we get a directory out, we can take the path from it and we can go for F in files, um, self dot files values. So we go through the values again. And actually, I think what we what we want to do here is we just want to do self dot values dot filter uh, where f. Um, okay, so here we're doing this differently. We're actually not going to do a four. And we're going to write some stuff that doesn't exist yet, and we'll fill it in. So on our file like we're going to do um, let have. Equal f dot path that just doesn't exist yet, but it will in a minute. Um, and then I want to filter for the ones where, oh, uh, that'll be p then, where path dot starts with. Do I have like a starts with? Yeah. Um, want to filter it for ones where path starts with p. Um, and then from there, I want to map on f and do f dot uh, file size again this doesn't exist this is going to be either if your file return the size if your directory returns zero 
Um, and some of these don't exist yet. Expected value self is ah. Cool. And now these are the things that don't exist. So I need to implement on my file like impl file like. I need to implement a function called path. Path just takes a reference to self, returns a path buff. Um, and this one's going to just be match on self. Uh, file like dir path goes to path. Um, file like file path. It goes to path. Dot clone. There we go. Um, and then the other thing that I need to implement um, is oh, it's actually, and it's not going to be oh, actually no, it can be on the thing. Yeah, file size. Awesome. Um, function file size on self. It goes to a u size match self a file like directory nothing goes to zero a file like file don't need the path or do need the size goes to size um match arms oh uh, we had a reference. We had to do reference it to get to our U size. Okay, so now we have path. We have file size. We have our parse method. We have total size on the thing. We can filter for our directories. We can do. F uh. Hmm. No, that's fine. A uh, filter. Uh, dot dot directory. A directory dot total. I, oh nope it's file system I do file system dot total size of our directory is greater than ten oh, or less than ten or hundred thousand um found file like found reference to a reference to a file like uh, I doubt total size actually needs the file like so can I have it be a reference uh, sure, we'll dereference you then if we need to. Nope, dereference. Cool. Um, there we go. Okay, so now we can pass in this. This one, now directories should be only the directories with the total size, and we actually want the ones that are less than. Um, and then I guess we can map, because we're summing them, right? Um... What is the sum of the total size of those directories? Uh, so then we map over the directories. We do dir dot total. Oh no, we do file system. File system. I guess I could have done the map first, but this will read nicely. Uh, we map that, and then we will sum it. Um, and that's just our answer. Okay. Um, did that work? No, it did not. Um, left, zero, right. Okay, so we just got zero as our answer. That's cool. Um, let's see what's going on. Our file system, this, um, let's debug out a reference to our file system. I think we did this already, though, and it looked pretty good. Do, do, do. Yep, we got some files. We got some directories. Looking good. Okay. Um, files.values filter. So, like, I just, I guess I need to break this apart and see if we, like, get any directories and stuff like that. Um, okay. Let director, directories, which is a vec of something, equal, like, that part. Um, it's iter. Okay, so that 
Yeah, I know, but it's because I'm about to put a debug reference to directories in the middle there. Okay. Um, okay, so we have some directories. A, E, D, and A are the directories that we know about. Um, I feel like there are more, given the commands and output, you can determine that the file system looks visually. Okay. So we knew about more directories here than I listed. Why, how did that happen? Um, so yeah, so our parsing is just wrong than I'm thinking. Okay. Let's go back and debug out the whole file system and we'll see things we're just missing. Reference to the file system. I'll run this test. Okay. So these are the directories we know about, but we also know about like DJ. Oh, that's a file. File DJ. So do I, do I know about directory D? Yeah, I do. Wait, okay. So let's go back and read this more. Um, how many directories does it have? It'll tell me that. Four directories. The outermost directory, A and D and E. Um, e, D, A. Yeah, wait a sec. That's right. E, D, A. Okay, so something... Okay, so that's right. So directories looks correct so then does it still look correct um well not really is that like all of them they they all is the total size of all of this just um zero because if total size is just returning zero that would that would do it right yeah, total size is just returning zero. Okay. Um, why is total size returning zero? Um, this filter feels like it's probably not working, right? I just have a feeling it just it just feels wrong. Debugging is really nice because it also prints the variable name before it. So like it tells you what is what. So like it tells me that path is that. Path and P. Path and P. Yeah, okay. So in total size then, we're matching on this file. Like so we have path. So I want path. No. Uh, uh -huh. P dot starts with path. Um. This is the directory path um okay rename symbol directory path p dot starts with directory path there we go okay well i can keep the debug in for a minute oh no it 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 broke oh man i undid and it broke my my rename direct directory path Okay, that was silly. Uh, directory path. Wait a sec. Oh, no. Oh, because it can't be named that. Can I really like, rename you here? Uh, path. Let's rename to directory path. Haha, that is the right way to do that. Awesome. Okay. Um, now. Okay, it at least gave an answer. It's not the right answer, but hey, I'll take it for the moment. Um... Oh, wait, no, no, that's the two numbers, and then we added them together and got the right answer. We're just having more debug output than I thought. Awesome. Don't need to debug the whole thing. Don't need to debug the directories. We actually don't need almost any of this anymore. Okay. Passed. And I think we are ready to get the my input. new file my input this is the moment of truth this is the first time when i feel like i think we're gonna get an answer like i think we got the bugs in the example ironed out 
Um, but I'm not that confident if it's going to be right off the bat. My input. Part one. Okay. And the answer that we get out of the computer is... Uh, we're going to have to do this this way. Cargo test. Make it big enough that I can do my echo thing again. 1086293. Type to PB copy. Okay. And moment of truth. There we go. Okay, awesome. That makes me feel pretty confident to go into part two. It means our parsing seems pretty right. And um, that usually gets a lot. That usually gets pretty far in part two, I think, to get the, the parsing down nicely. Okay, and part two. Now you're ready to choose a directory to delete. The total disk space available to the file system is 7... D 70 billion? Wow. Okay. To run the update, you need unused space of at least this number. You need to find a directory you can delete that will free up enough space to run the update. In the example above, the total size of the outermost directory, and thus the total amount of used space, is this number. This means that the size of unused space must currently be that, which isn't quite the 300,000 required for the update. Therefore, the update still requires a directory with a total size of at least this to be deleted before it can run. To achieve this, you have the following options. Delete directory E, which would increase unused space by this. A, which would do this. D, and then that, which would do that. Directories A and E are both too small. Deleting them would not free up enough space. However, directories D and the root are both big enough. Between them, choose the smallest, D, increasing unused space by this. Find the smallest directory that, if deleted, would free up enough space on the file system to run the update. What is the total size of that directory? Okay, this one I don't think is going to be too hard. So we have total size of our file system. Um, okay, so let's do let's get the, let's get our let's get our test set up. Uh, part two, oh, not part three, part two, part two, and then what? The total size. Oh wait, increasing unused space. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be our answer for part two. Okay, so in part two, function part two, input of a string to a u size, and let's take uh, the parsing of file system. Okay, so we want to find the First, let's find the let used space equal file system dot total size of a file like thing, which is a directory, which has a path of the root dot into. I think what this should do, um, let root I don't really know if I need this as a variable or not but it'll look a little nicer here um, and then let's debug out this to make sure that this is a uh, right debug used space uh, the only reason I'm a little curious is this is actually not in my file system like I'm not keeping track of the root directory it's not just it's not here but I don't think my total size methods gonna care so I think we should debug out the right answer, but it's not going to compile right now because I need to do this. There we go. Now it'll at least compile for me. And we can see that we... Uh, use space is 4838165. Um, 4838165. Okay, awesome. Okay, so... We have our used space, um, and we have the const of total space equals, and I'm just going to copy the number. Um, can I add, yeah, uh, const use size. Um, const space needed. Um, which is also a u size equals this. Um, oh, yeah, no, that's right. Um, so then let uh, space 
uh, needed to delete equals um, total size minus space needed. No, uh, we want to do uh, total size minus used space. Um, um, minus space needed. Total space minus space needed minus used space. Not sure that's right. The total space minus the space needed. So that's how much space could be left. Total space. Wow, I'm having a lot of trouble with this. Okay, so you have 70. You need 30 available. It is likely... So th then then that would be 40. So if you'd minus those, you would just get 40. Um, and then if you subtract the used space from 40,000, we expect to need to free up space. So we expect used space to be greater than 40, or else we wouldn't need to do this. So then we do used space minus those ones that should be space needed to delete I guess I could just like debug this out and make sure we're doing it right um, I'm for some reason very unsure about that math um, okay do 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 attempted to subtract with overflow okay cool so that's not right <laughs> um, oops uh, okay so we are not doing the math right here. That was easy enough. Okay, so total space is 70,000. So I know that the used space is probably going to be... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Let space available. Like, I'm not sure why I'm making this so much harder on myself. Available equals total space minus used space. Um, and then we assume that let space available is that. Okay, so we then say if space available is greater than space needed, oops, a panic with uh, we don't need to delete anything. Like, this is just an error case for us, essentially. Um, but if it's not then space needed minus space available um, equals space needed. Okay, so this is let space needed to delete equals this. Um, okay. So can't find space need uh, there we go okay uh, space needed to delete is eight three something um, at least eight three eight one one six five eight three eight one one six five okay few okay so we need a directory with a total size of at least this okay so I want to do basically one of the filtery things. I was doing here. Um, so we filter for my file system. Oh, it's just not implementing the right thing. That's fine. Um, okay, so I want to filter for directories. Filter for a total size um, greater than space needed to delete. Um, and then map total size and take the minimum um, and oops uh, take the minimum and assume there is a minimum uh, test passed awesome okay let's get the my input and I think I'm feeling pretty good about this my input 
Yeah, and again, part two wasn't too bad once we had part one, because uh, the parsing was pretty, uh, made it, made it not too awful. Once we had it parsed, the problem just kind of, kind of worked out okay. Uh, 366028, I probably could have done that without my uh, clipboard. Woohoo! Okay, so, well, there we go. That completes day seven of Advent of Code in Rust. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, give it a like and give me a subscription. Day eight will be coming at you real soon. Thanks. Bye.